Hi, hi, Genki Call here. It is June 20th, 2022. We've got a ton of stuff going on this week. We've got the world event, we've got campaign tasks, and the 100th ever Guild Wars in Gems of War. So to start with, because I will forget otherwise, we're going to head into Guild Wars and set up my defense teams. Don't want to forget to show that. Now, um, I have a... What is this? Oh, are we going to be this way? Really? <laughs> All right. So you can see the color on the side here is blue. This matches. This one needs to be purple. So we're going to switch that out to purple. This one is brown. I know it doesn't really look brown, but that, apparently that's brown. Brown. Kind of a greenish tan. Anyway, I digress. Yellow, and this one is green, and this one is red. Red, red, red. Where is red? I'm missing it. Red! I need to change out that team. That did not do so well on the last one. All right, so for Sentinels. Um, anyway, I was saying that I have... Um, I have a playlist of Guild Wars stuff, including tutorials on setting up your Sentinels, picking defense teams, and uh, how to do all of this neat stuff. So right now I'm just doing the Sentinels that don't cost any gems for the moment. And, and I may come back later and adjust that. But for now, we're just going to set up these Sentinels and see where my ranking is because I have no idea. Ooh, I'm the first Herald. Look at that. Okay, I did pretty well last time. <laughs> oh, joy. Well, no, that's good. Okay, what rank are we? We are in bracket 9. Okay. Same bracket as last time, and I'm okay with that. We did just fine there. Okay, now that we've got Guild Wars set up, let's go over some of the other things I usually forget, and then we'll start, we'll go into the campaign tasks. So, for this week, we have Dragon's Claw Troops get 10 plus 10% to their skills, and dragons get 10% to their skills. So if it's a dragon from Dragon's Claw, which many of them are, you're going to get plus 20% for all of their skills for this week only. Also, the new troop, the new glory troop, Sibelius, if you take him into PvP or Explore, you'll get an extra 400 gold uh, per battle. So that is... Um, that can be really good for gold farming. It just depends on what kind of team you're using, but it is something to keep in mind. So, campaign tasks. Let's go over them. Let me blow this up. This is thanks to Hawks and Gary, the amazing Hawks and Gary that put this together every week. So, for gold, use a Dragon's Claw team for 22 wins, and then use a Jewelry weapon for 22 wins. And I'm pretty sure the Black Manacles is considered jewelry, so you can always use that with... Venetia or Rowan, whatever you need to do. Ah, for silver, match four plus gems 75 times. Use the dragon banner for 15 wins. Complete three delves at level 30 plus. Use the dragon guard class for 15 wins. For bronze, open 25 glory chests, earn 200 gold in battle. Explore dragon's claw one time at difficulty two plus. Get 13 red kills. Open two event chests. Use a vault key to kill one treasure gnome. Uh, get nine dragon kills. Kill a shadow dragon one time. He's in the weekly event, or you can just find him in PvP or um, in Sword's Edge. And then craft one red summoning stone and win three dungeon battles. So save your dungeon until you complete everything else. If you're planning to complete this today, it's a one-day thing. You just... Um, one dungeon basically so all right heading back into the game so we are in dragon's claw this week so let's go over what you can get with your event keys but before we do that let's go into the shop because i almost forgot resources your spoils of war get the max on this of 10 if you can this is a fantastic deal for 10 event keys every event key is a chance at a mythic yeah i know it's not a great chance but it's still a chance and it's a good deal for the price then head over to the weekly event and get sibelius the new glory troop now along with sibelius you're going to get all of these rewards if you can afford it, I recommend taking this up to mythic level um, 
because at some point you're going to have to have all of your troops to level 20 in order to get your power levels up. So the sooner you can start getting multiple copies of the glory troop, the sooner you're going to be able to get your power levels up. So I started this early and look at the trait stones and all of the other um, goodies you get here. Resources. So resources, trait stones, arcane trait stones. That's important because it's a lot of grinding to get 32 arcanes. It's a lot of grinding and this is just glory. <sighs> Plus I get all of the other things I already talked about. So we've got that taken care of now. Now we'll go over the troops that you can get from Dragon's Claw. With your event keys this week, you can get... I keep clicking the wrong button. My bad. <sighs> this week, you will be able to get... Let me put this in base rarity. I know I have everything here, but I'm going to click that. And Okay, I don't have everything here. You will not be able to get the Horde Mimic from your event keys. This is a special item you can only get from finding the Horde Mimic and getting very, very lucky with the winnings. Won't be able to get that. Let's see if there's anything else here. Yes, of course there are things you can't get here. You also will not be able to get the Great Worm. Um, the Worm Run troops, uh, that's the faction that's attached to Dragon's Claw. You have to get the Worm Run troops in Worm Run in the Underworld with your Chaos Shards. So you will not be able to get the Great Worm or... I'm searching the Terror Worm or the Nether Worm. I think there should be one more here. The Horned Worm. All of the worms here you will not be able to get with your event keys. Everything else, however, except for Periton. Sorry, one more. Periton is a Guild Wars troop. So um, you can't get this from your event keys either. Everything else, except for... Perry 10, the Horde Mimic, and the four Worm Run troops. Everything else you see here is something that you can get. Um, I'll start at the top because it's easier for me that way. So El Magrim is considered to be a pretty bad mythic, but he can loop pretty nicely. And, you know, I don't hate him. I just, I don't think he's as bad as I've heard. Um, he does decrease all enemies' attack on by four on 4 plus gem matches, which can really add up if you're looping a lot. Um, he's impervious. You can't hurt him unless you curse him or stun him. You have to curse him before you can stun him, but anyway. He is not immune to lethal damage, however. He's impervious. He's not immune to Zul'goth or Scorpius or anything that insta-kills. Devour, yes, but not the insta-kill. Then we have Ishtara. I like Ishtara, especially for delving. A, a lot of these mythics I prefer for delving, but damage to all enemies, again, can loop. This is yellow gems instead of purple, boosted by blessed allies. And she has a 50% chance to bless a random ally when the turn begins. 40% skull damage reduction. I like the troop. I do. And she's gorgeous. Look how beautiful she is. Look. Oh, so pretty. Anyway. <laughs> Next up, we have Tiamata. Tiamata was a campaign mythic, and I think this is the first time we've been to Dragon's Claw since that campaign ended. I may be misremembering. Again, damage to all enemies, then create uh, three of the four plus wild cards, or times four wild cards. That can backfire. Um... And then gain 10 life when an enemy casts a spell. 25% chance to create a 2x two, two wild card when matching 4 plus gems. It's not guaranteed. It's only a 25% chance. And then skull damage reduction. Um, as far as which one of the mythics that you can get with your event keys is best. I like it Ishtar best, personally. The others... Uh, Actually, El Magrim after that for me because it can loop. And Tiamata, it just is very, very luck-based because of those wild cards. Divinia is amazing. Divinia is considered to be the, one of the best, if not the best, healer in the game. Explode all red gems. That means you're getting lots and lots of mana for your whole team. You can clear the board with it if there are lots of red gems. Cleanse all allies and give them life. She also grants a random 
positive status effect on a random ally with four plus gem matches. She is just a fantastic troop. I absolutely love her, and I don't use her very often, but she is amazing. Essencia, the only thing that's notable about Essencia, terrible, terrible, <laughs> terrible spell, but she does give all dragon allies a 50% mana start, and she does summon a light storm at the start of battle. I don't know why I would want a light storm, except that it would work with Divinia, but Divinia is blowing up red gems. So, I guess, it, well, anyway. Matron Dragatani is incredibly annoying to fight because she has um, spell damage reduction by 75%. However, she has no skull damage reduction. She creates six blue gems boosted by frozen enemies, then deals damage to the first and last enemy boosted by blue gems. She's pretty forgettable except for that 75% spell damage reduction. More than anything, she's just an annoyance to fight and not something I've ever gone out of my way to put on my team because I just think that her spell is underwhelming for a legendary. The Dragon Soul is a really nice mana generator. I like this troop a lot. Explode, random gems, 8 damage to all enemies, which is really nothing, but boosted by the number of dragon allies and gain 15 souls. So you blow things up, get lots of mana for your team, you get some souls. You know, it's all good. Plus, um, gains 2 life on 4 plus gem matches, which is kind of negligible, but 50% chance to become a baby dragon with full mana upon death. So I like it. The only thing about this troop is a 16 mana cost. Except for that. I really, really like this troop as a mana generator. Can't get that. Asha, I think Asha you get from doing the storyline here. Uh, maybe. I can't remember. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a hot minute. Uh, convert blue gems to any color you want. Enchant a random ally and give them three magic. She's, um, okay. Um, I do like the magic link bonus purple mana from purple gem matches, but... Besides that, eh, Kowadl, uh create 12 gems of a, random, of a random color. If you are just completely bored with the game and you just want to see some random number generator action, <laughs> you can try the Quaddle, but... Ah, yeah. Dragon Spirit is the summons from Essencia. It does scatter damage with a 75% chance to enchant all allies. That is nice. Uh, because 75% is a very a nice high percentage chance. Do have some spell damage reduction here. Um, and you gain some magic, so a little extra scatter damage. The scatter damage doesn't go that far. It doesn't loop well. The only thing this thing really has going for it is that 75% chance to enchant all allies. Lady Garnisha. Oh, maybe she was... Okay, I absolutely cannot remember which one came <laughs> from the storyline now. It may have been Lady Garnisha. I, I can't remember. I'm so sorry. Let me just upgrade this guy right quick. Maybe it was Visk. I usually can remember right offhand. This is not one of those times. Ah, <sighs> maybe it was Visk. I don't remember. Ah, okay. Let me just level up this guy. So I have another mythic quality one here, or mythic level. Level 20. Another level 20 troop. Ah, Lady Garnisha. Oh, no. She is definitely not the troop that you get from doing the storyline because she is our God Slayer. That's what I was thinking of. So, Skull Damage Reduction by 30%. She is our God Slayer. Slayer. She'll do 3 to 5 times Skull Damage versus bosses if you have her traded. And when I say bosses, I mean anything with a red border on it. So, that is... Um, Sorry, that's Raid Boss Zulgoth, that's Zulgoth owned by players, that's Hatir Ascendant, Scroll Reborn, um, Enraged Kurandara, and the bosses in the dungeon as well. Um, but you don't have to have her traded for the spell damage. That's just part of her spell. So um, this is definitely a good troop to max out because the higher her rarity, the more damage she's going to do. So at Mythic level, she's going to do this five times damage, which is really nice. <sighs> Lord Ember, transform a chosen mana color to red and give all other allies one magic. It's a mana converter. Mana conversion is awesome. Mana converter is king, kind of. 
it's not my favorite. It's my second favorite. I like my explosions personally, but Red Ahriman. Um, explode a mana gem, deal damage to all enemies of that mana color. So it's kind of like the Grey King, only it's not true damage, and he doesn't do all that extra stuff. It's just, if you're doing Guild Wars or something, um, this would this would be really nice as a defense um, if it chooses the right color. That's the thing. Having the AI control it would be difficult. Fire Link is always nice. Skull damage reduction, also nice. But, um, yeah. Spellius, we already went over, didn't we? Eliminate all armor from the first enemy, then deal damage to all enemies. All enemies. So it's kind of like the Flesh Horror, but not as good. The Flesh Horror is a mythic, uh, not a mythic, a legendary. So it's basically the same type of thing, only even if the first enemy is stealthy, it's going to take off all of the armor. It's kind of a weird troop. It, it is one that does damage to all enemies, though, so that is always nice, um, depending on the event that you might be doing. It, just in general use, I wouldn't say it's that, that useful, unless you're lower level and don't have the legendaries, but for events that are really limited, it could be helpful. Um, and it is stealthy, and you get some extra... I don't know why the greedy here, but I guess because it's a dragon. <laughs> Dragons in their gold hordes. Sylphrostanath. Now, now we're talking. Sylphrostanath is like a mythic. Not a mythic. I keep saying mythic. I mean legendary. Sorry. <sighs> this is almost legendary troop kind of damage. Damage to all enemies. Freeze one to four random enemies. Skull damage reduction by 30%. Gain some extra life, immunity to frozen. This is a very good troop and definitely one that I would recommend trying to get. It's a really good troop for an epic. It really is. Uh, Worm Run, Thamaris is... Oh yes, this is our Siege Breaker. So just like our God Slayer, this one is for towers. So that includes Leona's Tower and Invasion. By the way, we have an Invasion event this weekend. I almost forgot to mention that. Um... And then, yep, this is our Siege Breaker. So that is one you'll want to get the rarity up on. Visk, I think Daughter Dearest is correct that Visk is the one that we get from completing the storyline here. Damage to an enemy and bonus damage to all, all enemies that use yellow mana and burn them. That's interesting. With skull damage reduction by 50%. You know, it's okay. Fulthranax is another troop, just like Sylphrostanath. Really powerful for an epic. Explode a gem, deal damage to all enemies boosted by yellow gems destroyed. So an extra four damage for every yellow gem that you destroy with that one explosion. Another very useful troop. Sylphrostanath and Fulthranax are favorites of mine for delving for people that don't have the legendaries. They're just really useful. Dragonian Monk is actually a very good troop. Destroy gems in an X shape, so it's not just... not just... Ex it's not exploding things, but it is removing all of those gems as if they were matched, and then barrier a random ally for every yellow gem destroyed. So he's actually a very useful troop, especially since he gets a 50% mana start. Ha-ha-ha, uh, 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 Dragonian Rogue... Also an X shape, damage to the last enemy only, only boosted by purple gems. The sage here. Oh, I am not fond of this troop. Um, two magic to an ally and ma mana equal to half their mana cost if they're a dragon, barrier and enchant them. I can see how this could be useful in certain situations, but I am not fond of the troop myself. Um, dragon moth, again, not really at my level. It, it just... I don't remember ever using this, even when I was lower level, but damage to an enemy if there are 13 or more red gems, explode all red gems, which could be actually very useful if you are doing a heavily red team. Like, this could be very good on a magma dragon team, because there are going to be tons of red gems. And, yeah, I mean, it could, could work. Um, Egg Thief is fantastic. It is, she is a go-to troop for gold farming destroy a bunch of random gems boosted by gold 
gain gold and summons. So she's really, really good for making sure that your hero doesn't die because she keeps summoning in an egg shield basically every time something dies and gets you lots and lots of mana. It takes a little bit to get her going, but then you'll have lots of gold, lots of mana. Every time you cast, you're getting more and more explosions. Not explosions, it's destroy, as if they were matched. And basically, you'll end up destroying the whole board at some point, if the battle lasts that long. Uh, Worm Run, Dragonette, meh, more of an annoyance than anything. Damage, this is really good in Arena, don't get me wrong, but... Inflict one to five random status effects. Blah, 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 blah. Destroy a column, give all dragon allies 37 attack and armor. This could be very good in an event that uses dragons, but otherwise, not so much. Drag Drago. Oh, Drago. Create, uh, uh, sorry, charm a random enemy and create nine blue gems. I used to use this guy a lot with Marilith when I was lower level. Um, baby dragon. You know, it's the baby dragon, and it can transform into a a mythic. It can. I once had that happen three battles in a row. Dragon Eggs is the last trip that you can get with your event keys this week. You know, it's great as a shield, basically. Um, you know, and you can get enough mana to cast with this, but you have to have an open slot for the baby dragon to go into, and... More than anything, it's just great to use as a shield um, or in arena. So that's what we've got for event keys this week. Now let's go over what we've got coming up for this week. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Uh, no, that was right. All right, Tuesday, tomorrow, we have Worm Run. As I mentioned before, Worm Run, Run Faction Assault, which is going to be incredibly painful oh, because they create a bunch of random skulls. The worm run troops do. Wednesday, we have the whelp pet rescue. Thursday, we have the dragon guard class trial, of course. And this weekend, we have bump, 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 invasion. We've got the tower event for the weekend. So, in addition, like I said, we've got the 100th Guild Wars this week. That means that any live streams I do this week are going to be delayed until I can finish my Guild Wars video. So, be aware of that if you like to join me for my live streams. Uh, 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 I think that is it for this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye!